हेलो या आई जस्ट अप हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हेलो जस्ट वांटेड टू नो फ्रॉम वेयर वी आर स्ट्रीमिंग आर वी लाइव और ओके इफ आई कैन गेट अ कंफर्मेशन दैट द या आई थिंक यस 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 थैंक यू वेरी मच Uh, that the yes uh, good evening all of you good evening i think all of you are there yes uh, sapna yes uh, need pg yes excellent thank you very much just like the technicality of uh, this but i think it's been sorted out and we are all live i think the audio video is all clear and all of you should be able to hear me now uh, if the audio video is all clear you can just uh, say yes in the chat box uh, welcome all of you uh, to our image thon and welcome we will try to cover lots of images for this upcoming neat pg examination in a span of 1 hour i'll try to cover more than 15 to 20 uh, images so that it will help you uh, for your upcoming neat pg examination i am dr puneet bhojani your obgy mentor and i think yes things are working very smoothly now thank you very much for all your love and appreciation and uh, just a quick things an academy all of you are aware the neat pg section excellent options for all of you 20% off uh, on the medical pg subscription there is a next batch coming up which is going to be duration of 9 months you are going to be a part of it fmg also 6 months and do not forget to use the code mentor m e n t o r mentor will be the code this is from 16th of february till 21st you are getting 20% off okay so the code is mentor m e n t o r and those who haven't subscribed it uh, please uh, go and uh, uh, take your subscriptions as soon as possible so that you can get the maximum benefit for all the upcoming examination similarly this is for the upcoming fmg examination all the teachers uh, including me will be a part of it starting from february 10th it's a five months so preparing you for the uh, june uh, fmg examination and code remains the same mentor m e n t o r for all the subscriptions to get the uh, discounts okay and this is what is the main batch for those Uh, who are preparing for the NEXT examination, which is likely uh, to be in uh, December. Still, of course, clarity uh, would be there coming up about it. So, for starting from Feb 28, eight month duration, all 19 subjects will be covered. Exhaustive theory, MCQ discussion, images, everything will be there. All the best teachers, including me, uh, would also be available for the OBGY. and would i would also request you of course the code uh, is the same the mentor okay and i request all of you to go and uh, enroll and take maximum uh, benefit of this as uh, this okay no but it's going to be lots of uh, vora say that's going to be lots of this are almost eight when you look at the neat pg vitals there's going to be the more than 800 hours of seven more than 700 hours of lecture okay uh, is going to be there okay so with this as the background uh, just a second this is like i think the ppt is giving me a slight issue just a second all of you just one second all of you the uh, will be starting the image thon in a minute uh, there is a slight sorry just give me a minute students uh, the lap uh, the ppt is not moving ahead I checked everything certain things are beyond our
Yeah, yeah, Dr. Robert, I'm just trying to do that only. I'm trying to reopen the same thing. It should, but I'm not able to escape this damn thing. Uh, just give me a minute, all of you. Very sorry, this has never happened with me before. I've been taking YouTube regularly, but this has never happened. Uh, yes, I think so now. Yeah, I think so. Hopefully now it should be working. Very sorry for that. Uh, yes, yes, MD medicine. Yes, we're just doing that and yes so i think all of us very sorry yes okay so let us begin our discussion and uh, this is the first image for the day and can anybody tell me very sorry for that we'll, we'll try to take some extra minutes so that we don't waste yes very sorry yes so can anybody tell me what is this image and what is it uh, showing you so this is a hysterosalpingography hsg and in hsg what are we seeing okay so how does yes very good okay so a normal hsg we also try to show you a normal HSG. very good this is hsg all of you correct normal hsg we will see we will see the fallopian tubes beautifully and this is the spill of the dye okay can anybody tell me what day of the cycle the hsg should be done on day nine okay day eight or day nine of the cycle that's the time when we generally do the hsg now can anybody tell me the answer over here what do we see in this okay so we are seeing the uterus we are seeing the uterus we are seeing the fallopian tubes 
that is okay this side fallopian tube is also being seen but what is inside the uterus can anybody tell me what is inside the uterus how do you describe it yes so there are this multiple filling defects okay very good there are multiple filling defects which are seen inside the uterus and they are likely to be suggestive of Asherman syndrome or intrauterine adhesions can anybody tell me very good all of it can anybody tell me how do i confirm my diagnosis with so with one question we discussed a lot of other questions so that you get an idea how do i confirm my diagnosis all of you correct this is not a normal hsg because in normal hsg there is a and show the image also of a normal hsg so that you get an idea there is no filling defect and it's a smooth thing yes how do i confirm my diagnosis all of you yes very good sapna the diagnosis and or oh, yes so diagnosis confirmation is by hysteroscopy okay uh, no combat healer, not by laparoscopy and hysteroscopy yes and along with hysteroscopy we can also do the treatment because what is there in intra it's like this okay there are intra uterine adhesions so since there are intra uterine adhesions we can put in the telescope and we can also do hysteroscopic adhesiolysis okay that is your asherman syndrome but remember students it's a hysteroscopic adhesiolysis and not a normal adhesiolysis okay yes and then generally we put in a iucd to keep the cavity distended okay anybody why post adhesiolysis we put a copper t we put a copper t is put inside the cavity of the uterus to uh, yes we will uh, so i want to prevent the adhesions from forming again so uh, it is uh, to be uh, kept the cavity distended so that re-adhesion formation does not take place. Uh, Dr. Orbito, it is Orbito, it's not that DNC should never be done. Of course, DNC can be done, but if it is excessive DNC, <coughs> okay, we get this. If it is multiple uh, DNC or overzealous, as the words mentioned in the textbook, there's an overzealous DNC, then there could lead to development of Asherman syndrome. Yes. Now, can anybody tell me this? image what is it again it's a hsg again it's a hysterosalpingography and what is it yes anybody we have got a left and a right side to mark of course what do we see yes so perfectly correct if you see i am able to see the left side fallopian tube so nicely i'm drawing the outline and even spill is present so the left tube cavity is okay is the cavity okay always first look at the cavity very good cavity okay smooth no filling defect but can i see the right tube no right tube is not seen at all is it clear to all of you you are not able to see otherwise there would have been a tube you could have seen a right sided tube yes when i'm drawing it the color and there should have been a spill that would have given a normal image perfectly correct so here we are not seeing the right sided tube and the right sided tube is blocked at the cornu itself okay at the beginning at the beginning only so all this kind of images are likely to be asked to you so you can see that the tube is blocked at the beginning part only so it's the right sided cornual block itself okay it is a right sided cornual block very good option d is the answer uh not e beta not M. okay it's not a fimbrial block what will i see in a fimbrial block so it's a right sided cornual why because this right is important over here it's a right sided cornual block and left sided normal tube is it clear to all of you left sided it's a normal tube for all of you okay so now all of you fimbrial block would be what just to show for you fimbrial block would be that the tube uh, will be seen all the way till the fimbrial end and there is a block at the fimbrial end okay so then the tube would be distended so we generally see a hydrosalpings is this clear to you all of you so if this i would call it as a what is this called as hydros yes no spill perfectly correct no spill and the tube is distended okay I just okay so that would be a hydrosalping 
okay that would be a hydrosalpings that we call it as hydrosalpings yes what instrument do we use can anybody tell me you only tell me so one is this is the valsalum and what is this instrument okay we call it as colvin's cannula colvin's cannula or also called as leach wilkinson okay dr obito leach wilkinson cannula can you see this instrument this which has got the serrations i'm drawing it okay even in the previous image you can see in the previous image also this part okay so this is the leach wilkinson cannula this what i've drawn over here okay like this okay always this will be there okay leach l e e c h wilkinson leach wilkinson cannula to push the radio opaque that yes moving ahead what is this test and why is it yes uh correct uh, saint or sinner is correct yes anybody what is this test a b c d e and why is it considered what is this so i can seeing the uterus from above just to label it this is the uterus this is the fallopian tube which we are holding it and what is this blue color dye anywhere excellent all of you this is methylene blue okay it is a methylene blue dye it is a methylene blue dye and that is laparoscopy chromoperturbation laparoscopy chromoperturbation not laparoscopic tubal ligation we'll show you that in a minute okay so sonosalpingography is a ultrasonography you will see a black and white picture and what is this this is the gold standard remember students what is the mcq about is if they if they tell you but of course it's a surgery so you need operation theater anesthesia all the complications of surgery but it is the best test or the gold standard for tubal patency is this understood to all of you if they tell you that which is the best test for for Uh, your tubal patency test or the gold standard that is our laparoscopy chromoperturbation we are doing a laparoscopy at the same time the assistant is taking a methylene blue dye and pushing it into the cervix and the dye will enter into the fallopian tube and we can see this blue color dye coming out that means the fallopian tube is normal so this tube is patent and then you see both the sides yes anybody yes very very simple next moving on to the next image okay what is this can anybody tell me this is a cervix of course a cervix is being shown to you and how do you what is it yes can you describe it can you describe it for me so this is multiple punctate hemorrhages this is our strawberry cervix yes perfectly correct you call it a strawberry cervix or strawberry vagina and that is seen in trichomoniasis along so one mcq three further mcq what is the type of discharge which you will get generally okay we get a greenish yellow frothy discharge perfectly correct greenish yellow frothy discharge and what is the we get a greenish yellow frothy discharge and what is the drug of choice what is the drug of choice yes greenish yellow absolutely all of you correct super metronidazole okay metronidazole okay in your syndromic approach you use a secnidazole kit the green kit okay but metronidazole is a drug of choice okay for candidiasis we get a curdy white discharge curdy white discharge and here the drug of choice is fluconazole just by the way so this is all are important we can go for fluconazole orally or locally also clotrimazole okay locally clotrimazole pessary is also available so both are considered as a drug of choice okay yes green kit is for vaginal discharge management that your psm teacher will teach you so basically the image is strawberry cervix or strawberry vagina pink pot images okay and this yes now what is this image what is this image can anybody identify the image we are seeing a yes so this is a ovarian mass we are seeing a ovarian mass 
and what is it yes perfectly correct this looks like a vanilla ice cream and on this vanilla ice cream all this can you see the chocolate sauce so it's not vanilla ice cream and chocolate sauce yes perfectly correct it is the endometrioma also called as the chocolate cyst okay it's not a dermoid dermoid gender they would give you a open dermoid was the mcq was in the last year's neat pg exam what will i say in dermoid all of you know tooth hair all that okay serous cyst will have a clear fluid and pcos will not be having hemorrhagic so this is a chocolate cyst of the ovary or endometrioma seen in endometriosis and what are the other findings this is my diff okay anybody i hope you can appreciate this is the uterus okay these are all the adhesions and can all of you appreciate this bluish nodule which is over here yes okay can all of you appreciate the bluish nodule which is over here i am highlighting and making it further big is it clear so what yes very good so you get a bluish nodule you get like this red lesions okay you get red lesions blueberry red raspberry all this yes fruit salad perfectly correct okay you get purple okay so blueberry lesions red raspberry purple raspberry all this kind of lesions and those who are able to see clearly also we are seeing black black spots over here can all of you see this black black spots over here very clearly in the pouch of douglas yes those are the powder burnt spots and matchstick burnt spots perfectly correct so adhesiolysis should be done and we have to go for electrocoagulation of all this implants and powder burnt spots yes now what is this ultrasonography showing you this is again a ultrasonography whenever it's a transvaginal sonography of the uterus what is it showing us so what are we seeing is that we are seeing multiple yes so no i wanted that this is not vesicular mole i am going to show you there is a vesicular mole slide also i have got it how is the confusion will show you yes all of you can clearly read the endometrium these are this glands these hypoechoic spaces which are marked with arrow students are the endometrial glands and where are the glands they are within the myometrium yes venetian blind appearance salt and pepper okay the endometrial myometrial junction would be fuzzy okay so this is basically the endometrial glands invading into the myometrium this is adenomyosis mri is of course better and can anybody tell me what is the management of adenomyosis what is the best management if they ask you best management for adenomyosis yes so this endometrial glands within the myometrium i'll also try and it okay what is the best management yes all of you correct the option number c is the answer so remember students adenomyosis unfortunately everywhere we try to save the uterus we use lng iud all that to control menorrhagia but unfortunately adenomyosis is a condition where there is severe pain dysmenorrhea menorrhagia and it will not respond no you don't wait and watch of course yes okay yes unfortunately this is a condition where i will have to remove the uterus and hysterectomy is the best treatment okay so if they ask you what the best treatment or the definitive treatment if in the mcq it is asked that what is the definitive treatment then hysterectomy is the answer whichever route okay yeah mri better mri better uh neat pg 23 tahb karo you can do abdominal hysterectomy you can do today laparoscopic hysterectomy also you can do okay so which route you operate is not important yes it could be a total abdominal hysterectomy transabdominal or even vaginal hysterectomy if it's possible you may want to do depending on this okay uh no but a myomectomy or make we patel if it's a adenomyoma okay it is not myomectomy that's for fibroid okay Me uh, okay megavi patel if it's a fibroid we do a myomectomy okay adenomyosis is generally elderly patient okay yes now i wanted this image okay just a minute all of you i wanted to show you this one second uh, so that there is no yes now can anybody identify this image now this is again a transvaginal sonography or ultrasonography and they're showing you the uterus 
okay ultrasonography of the uterus and what is it if i tell you this is the uterine cavity okay yes this is yes now these are multiple fluid filled grapes like particle multiple fluid filled grapes like particle within the uterine cavity and here i don't see any so this is the famous snowstorm appearance yes or no snowstorm appearance and this is a complete identiform mole or our vesicular mole so both of the images may look very beta parshriya kumari partial mole mein i will see some fetal tissue also along with it some baby okay so when only all of you look over here when i see only snowstorm appearance that is a complete mole and partial mole kya hai beta thoda baby thoda grapes baby is playing in the snowstorm so along with this grapes if i see fetal parts then only i call it partial mole in partial mole you will be seeing some part of the baby or a baby will be seen so if fetal parts are also seen then only you label it fetal parts along with this grapes like particle is it understood to all of you so i hope all of you understand the difference between the two images which i have shown you yes dr sarika suction evacuation is the treatment of choice for both partial mole and complete mole so the two images clap if you feel happy the difference is what what is the difference that here there are multiple glands within the myometrium this is what and this are so in both of them you get cystic spaces you will see cystic spaces and the uterus but this all cystic spaces is within the cavity if the whole cavity is filled with grapes like particle that is our vesicular mole perfectly correct uh, as said by dr dark knight after suction evacuation we need to we need to uh, monitor the beta hcg levels and the hcg level should keep on dropping down dropping down it may take 6 to 8 weeks for the hcg to return back to normal and what is the first part this is the adenomyosis so i hope both the images are slightly confusing that's why i wanted to show both of it is it clear to all of you so here we are seeing the glands the glands within the glands within the myometrium okay so don't uh, confuse this this is multiple glands within the myometrium and the other image will again come back and show you which is showing our adenomyosis yes very simple image ultrasonography pregnancy what is this anomaly identify the anomaly which is being shown in the image <coughs> you can see baby ka legs and what is it yeah beta adenomyosis ossipals can be given adenomyosis ossipals can be tried lng iud myelin can also be tried yes so what is it we can see that there is absence of yes absolutely correct i like that comment okay the frog eyes the frog eyes the frog face whatever you call it absence of frog frog sign perfectly correct okay absence of the cranial vault and that is nnkefali nnkefali anybody with nnkefali what is the treatment nnkefali nnkefali what do i do okay so nnkefali of course it's not a normal scan it's not a double bubble double bubble scan is due to atresia two things nnkefali do i have associated oligo or poly along with nnkefali will there be oligohydramnios or polyhydramnios so and in kefali is associated with polyhydroamnios very good it's a neural tube defect perfectly correct folic acid prevention and all of you correct it is not not all good poly poly okay uh, nikisha jacob and uh, it's going so far yes super okay so polyhydramnios super which the chat box is flooded okay so it is polyhydroamnios students because there is absence of swallowing 
okay there's absence of swallowing and it's a open neural tube defect all open neural tube defects we will get polyhydroamnios and perfectly correct it is a anomaly not compatible with life and therefore mtp is the only option officially legally we can do mtp and very good dr uh, obito and all of you it is the anomaly which is the earliest other anomalies we pick up at 18 to 20 weeks when i do the anomaly scan or the tfa scan this anomaly can be picked up as early as 10 to 11 to 12 weeks okay 11 to 12 weeks generally when we do the nt scan earliest to be detected absolutely correct absolutely correct okay yes yes so coming back to our uh, this and i wanted to yes so we were over on this image so this is your vesicular mode yes now there is not what is this showing you and what is this uh, seen over here if i ask you this condition would be seen with if i tell you this condition would be seen with fibroids if i'm giving you options okay option a fibroid option b pcos option c endometriosis and option d ca cervix this condition is associated with what absolutely correct okay so this is i can very likely to be coming in this year's exam acanthosis nigricans black velvety patches of the skin over the nape of the neck and uh, and the axillary area and this is a sign for what yes metabolic syndrome and insulin resistance so this is not seen with fibroids and cervical cancer most likely see and anybody what is the treatment for this what's the treatment yes it is due to insulin resistance absolutely correct yes uh no but uh, overall PCOD we treat with occipitals, specifically no letrozole. Yes, insulin resistance we need to tell the patient weight loss and lifestyle modification and metformin. Absolutely correct. Okay, so metformin will have to play a role over here. Metformin, yes, weight loss. Yes, Ocip that depends on what the further patient wants. I know all of you should know that. And that is how you tell me that if there is PCOS and if she is planning pregnancy and if she wants babies or there is infertility, then we go for ovulation induction and there we prefer letrozole. Okay, so remember me on the day of the exam is my guarantee. And if you want treatment for acne and irregular periods and hirsutism then you will go with oc pills yes pco ulta naam mein hi answer hai p c o ulta kar do o c p thoko tal okay so pco ocp that is what you go for acne irregular periods hirsutism but if there and to both of that to both of this we can go for we can go we can add metformin metformin is added to both the patients those who want to conceive as well as those who don't plan to conceive because metformin tackles the problem of insulin resistance yes of course we should ask the history and then decide dr obito absolutely correct the pcos the treatment will always depend on what the patient wants and very good i'm happy with it tortoise very good ossipils specifically if the ossipils contains Ciproteron, excellent. Why Ciproteron? Because Ciproteron is a progesterone with a anti-androgenic property. Excellent. Yes, very good. Okay, so Ciproteron is a, a progesterone with an anti-androgenic property. Moving on. Yes, what is this? Again, a very very important. This is a cervix. This is a anterior lip of the cervix this is the posterior lip of the cervix overall how is the whole image looking like very clear i can see my screen okay yes this is a this is the sim speculum okay the, the can you see this metal thing this is our so this is our cusco speculum self-retaining 
okay this is the cusco speculum and we are doing a green filter yes absolutely correct all of you this was the mcq in last years this is a virgin mcq not yet been asked likely for the future this is a green filter and green filter is used to see what green filter so this is colposcopy all of you correct colposcopy is for magnification and green filter the whole picture can you see it's green in color yes the whole picture is a greenish color tinge it's green color light is there just a green color light is there so green filter is what green filter is to see the blood vessels very good chaitanya kumar okay because the blood vessels are seen better with green filter so you would see them like a punctate neo vascular this is normal so you're not saying but their main purpose is to see the yes and beta dr nd yes then you apply acidic acidic acid in normal light okay green filter is to see the blood vessels and you are absolutely correct we also apply acetic acid okay acetic acid is applied and we take the biopsy from the aceto white area is it clear to all of you uh, yes moving on to the next question very very popular definitely aayega exam mein identify the device what is the device no it is not a multi load now can you see can you see is there copper it is a copper t is it a copper t no it is not a copper t why is it not a copper t because sir i am not seeing the copper wire otherwise all of you know we will be seeing a copper i'll show the image like this like this like this there's a copper wire wound around it then i can call it copper t yes absolutely correct so this is our completely white remember students when it's completely white that is our lng iud levonorgestrel intrauterine device this is the hormonal barrel this contains lng now again two questions two questions how much will show you no multi load cell will show you okay multi load i'm showing you in a minute what is the total lng content and yes very good myrina is a brand name so myrina you can say it but better remember it as lng intrauterine device also called as lng intrauterine system excellent all of you total please students don't make a mistake you know this in the heat of the exam students are making a mistake with the units also yes the total lng content is 52 mg and 20 microgram per day is released in the uterine cavity and therefore the another name is also lng 20 is it clear to all of you and where what are the benefits anybody what are the non contraceptive benefits of myrina or lng what happens yeah uh, mamudul uh, hasan abhi sikha raha hai yes i'll tell you the copy yes okay so because this progesterone is continuously released in the no not ovarian cancer yes we use it in patients of dysfunctional uterine bleeding or menorrhagia because the menses would become scanty 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 and yes in treatment of endometrial hyperplasia we use it for endometrial hyperplasia treatment and prevention of endometrial cancer okay not ovarian cancer it does not suppress the ovulation okay dub helpful hoga fibroids pid episodes will be less perfectly yes very good minakshi malhotra menses excellent menses become scanty 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 and finally there is progesterone induced amenorrhea many patients menses will completely stop also amenorrhea is induced okay yes 
now anybody what is this can anybody tell me what is this a packet is shown to you inside the packet we are seeing two small yes cervical mucus signaling no it does not affect the ovulation okay remember students the action is very very local and there is no effect on ovulation please write it down the ovulation no effect on ovulation okay the ovulation continues it's a very very it's a pg level mcq okay myrina action is very much local uterus and cervix has no action on ovary yes perfectly correct these are tubal rings or silastic bands they are silastic bands used for lap pro for what type of surgery no it is not a pessary beta it is not a pessary okay ring or a silastic bands they are used for laparoscopic tubal sterilization surgery laparoscopically okay sterilization surgery or laparoscopic tubal ligation as we call it okay yes here clap if you feel happy so this is the actual image how it looks when it goes inside the body okay again this is the this is the uterus okay this is the fallopian tube this is the loop of the tube which is created and this is that silastic band okay so you apply it on both the sides okay yes no beta uh, md medicine pomeroy can use cadgut pomeroy is a open technique so in pomeroy what is done is pomeroy is a open technique is it clear this is laparoscopy so this is only used for laparoscopic so this white color structure you see there are two one for left side one for right side okay these two things will go and we apply the same thing is here the same thing this is the unused this is unopened small silastic band when you open it it becomes like this okay what is pomeroy's technique pomeroy's technique may the fallopian tube is identified a loop of the tube is created you tied with catgut and you cut the tube okay yes the copper tea can be used for uh, copper tea can be used for emergency contraception dark night correct up till 5 days okay copper tea can be used okay yes now this those who was asking me aapne poocha maine dikhaya now what is this can you identify this so both are confusing now here please don't answer this as a diaphragm or a condom everything is open all the sperms will pass so this is all open open so this is not there stupid option now this is not a tubal ring okay this fact this tubal ring for elephant okay don't write it so this is not a tubal ring also see the human's tubal ring is so small so both confusing image yes so this is the tubal ring for tubal ligation this is a ring pessary made up of rubber and what is the role of ring so this is the ring pessary somebody was asking me okay and the ring pessary is made up of rubber very good and we use it in treatment of prolapse mainly prolapse during pregnancy okay prolapse during pregnancy yeah nuwaring is called but nuwaring is no longer available they are planning to relaunch again in india nuwaring came in india uh, and then it went away now it might again come back. okay so prolapse during pregnancy specifically during pregnancy we don't operate okay specifically during pregnancy or in the postpartum period or in the elderly lady okay those who don't want to undergo when they want to avoid a surgery okay but a third and fourth degree prolapse until second degree patient is not symptomatic so third and fourth degree prolapse we can use it is it clear to all of you uh dan house if copper t and ulipristal both depends on the patient's choice if she says doctor i want only contrast only emergency contraception for this month then give her ulipristal she says doctor i am also interested in long term birth control then you put copper t because it will be at for 3 to 5 years okay 
yes now what is this this was again the past year's mcq what is being seen over here so this is again a transvaginal sonography of the uterus and within the uterine cavity this outer is the uterine cavity we are seeing quite a big a well this arrow is shown it's the same echo isn't it the same intensity as the endometrium yes and what is this on color doppler this is color doppler very good so this is a polyp a fibroid is a hypoechoic fibroid will be well circumscribed hypoechoic so this is the feeding vessel sign why feeding vessel sign because a polyp will have a stalk and will have a vessel okay going right inside it so a feeding vessel sign and again the best treatment over here is a hysteroscopic polypectomy because it is within the cavity okay please understand this a polyp is going to be within the cavity it is like this so i will put in a telescope and just cut this polyp and go and take it out so it is a hysteroscopic polypectomy is the role standard yes perfectly correct all of you excellent okay so yes very very easy this was there in the past years exams also what can we see cyclical abdominal pain they also have primary amenorrhea what is it yes this is the imperforate hymen nothing much to discuss we can clearly see tense bulging hymen isn't it students we are seeing a bluish discoloration of the hymen the whole hymen is tense bulging bluish purplish in color and we know so the whole hymen is tense bluish purplish in color we are going to get blood getting collected inside the vagina yes this is basically cryptomenorrhea cryptomenorrhea blood will get collected inside the vagina hematocolpus hematometra okay we get hematocolpus we get hematometra and urinary retention episodes and yes cyclical yes and the preferred treatment is a cruciate incision because when you take a cruciate incision on the hymen the blood will come out okay so we generally take a cut like this we take a cut like this and the blood will all start coming out okay so cryptomenorrhea topic is this okay moving ahead yes this was again asked in the past years exam so very likely whenever we have a infertile patient treated with ovulation induction agents what is the complication but along with it remember students that this is big ovary and they are big 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 follicles okay to tell me two things are the follicles big or small they are big and are the follicles only in the periphery or in the center also yes so this is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome but along with this picture please understand it's a pg level thing this is also a stimulated ovary just before ivf in all patients of ivf we can see this also okay uh, two things uh, two things many students feel with clomiphene no frankly speaking in my whole life i have never seen ohss with clomiphene ohss mainly happens when we use either a recombinant fsh or hmg injection and along with it hcg please understand no hcg no ohss hcg is given as a last injection to make the follicle mature to final maturation of the oocyte and to cause rupture of the follicle so hcg 
in a normal cycle you go on rupture but in, in IVF we go and then we pick up all the eggs okay so don't say yes cabergolin very good option cabergolin can be given to prevent OHSS so recombinant FSH if it is used and along with it HCG is given then there is likely but what is the hallmark that sir there should also be ascites ovarian volume is increased there should be free fluid ascites so when they tell you that there is this multiple big 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 follicles in the ovary along with ascites and free fluid that is OHSS so all of you should make a understand the difference uh, between the OHSS and PCOS just a quick thing so that you don't make a mistake PCOS may multiple small follicles what is this pattern I'm not showing you the image because it's like everybody knows what is this pattern this is the necklace of pearl pattern okay uh, beta Arun and unfortunately this is a YouTube session so YouTube session you will not be able to get the uh, PDF beta okay when you come on the plus classes and in the special classes the PDF can be downloaded okay trust me students need PG vitals superb lectures all of you you will love the lecture and 30 on 30 in OBGY is my guarantee and look at those neat pg vital lectures on the um, uh, digital board and all that you have taken six it's absolutely superb lecture yes this is the necklace of pearl v or string of pearls this is pcos and when you see a big ovary but they are multiple big 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 follicles and along with it if you see the free fluid that would our OHSSB ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome or basically a stimulated ovary this is multiple follicles are ready okay stimulated ovary and when the same thing goes overdrive uh, 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 this one but the ovarian size will be very big so this will all be big yes so here the follicles are 2 to 9 millimeter in size and here all follicles are mature so what is the size 18 to 20 millimeter okay is it clear to all of you yes very important difference in the follicle size also so pcos all of you know there are 2 to 9 millimeter small follicles and here these are all big big follicle 16 to 18 millimeters 18 to 20 all big follicles okay there will be 18 16 20 17 millimeter like that 20 millimeter like that okay yes so let us move ahead we still have got some time yes what is this this was also asked you what is this used for what is this used for so this is this instrument is used for what yes so this is mva manual vacuum aspiration when i want to do mtp in the first trimester when i want to do mtp in the first trimester suction cannula is there there's a suction machine there's a plastic carmen's cannula a syringe and these are all the cannula they also act as the dilator perfectly correct and you start with four five six seven eight so the logic is that whatever weeks the same number you need to dilate okay so if it's eight weeks we dilate till the eight number cannula and then attach the suction cannula and suck out so there is no need of electrical suction the and what is the advantage of plastic so there is no risk of perforation okay what are the other dilators so perforation risk is not there so these are made up of plastic okay the other is the Hegas dilator. We are made up of metal. Is it clear to all of you? The name is Hegas dilator. I'm sure you must have seen it in the in your OT. There is the Hegas dilator. Yes, uterine sound is the first thing to measure the utero cervical length, UCL. Okay. Yes. Yes what is this maneuver for identify the maneuver so this is for the yes it is six weeks then six number cannula okay as per the week six weeks six number cannula seven weeks seven number cannula 
Hello, I'm showing yes, copper tea. I'm coming and showing in a minute. Okay, yes. Then the next one. Yes, this is for yes. In pregnancy, we use beta uh, kunal anand. That is when you want to do MTP. Okay, in a pregnant patient, MTP. When I want to do, and this is not available. Hega is also for MTP only. In a pregnancy which you want to continue, you don't put in the can you dilator, na? The pregnancy will get damaged. So in MTP, when I want to dilate, we use the metal dilator, but metal can cause perforation. Yes. So this is we are holding the baby by the limbs and rotating. So initially the baby is hanging down. The back should always face the doctor. Doctor is over here. This is the baby. And then you rotate it up, up, up onto the maternal abdomen. Here the mother is lying down. Okay. In the labor ward bed. Okay. So this is absolutely correct. This is the Burns Marshall maneuver for the after coming head of the bridge. Okay. Burns Marshall maneuver for the after coming head of the bridge. Okay, yes. Now, what is this image? What is this image? Uh, very good. Okay, so this is the first picture. This is the first picture. And this is the final outcome. So, what is the image showing you? What have we done? Yes, sir, this is the breech baby to avoid complications of breech delivery and to avoid LSCS, we are doing a external kephalic version. External kephalic version is done. Okay. External kephalic version is done. Okay. And this is the ECV. Anybody? So a breech is converted and rotated. Yes, very good. You should not do it early. Yes, dark night. Okay, I'm coming to that. So many books are mentioning can okay, do it at 32, 34 weeks. That is wrong. Because if you do early, the baby may again rotate back. And every time this is a stunt, it's like a complication risk is there. And you should wait for the baby to rotate on its own. Is it clear? So before the labor definitely. So you should do it at 36 to 37 weeks of gestation. 36 to 37 weeks of gestation is when you do it. Many books mention 36 weeks is a good answer to write. Okay. 36 weeks is when to do it. Okay. Yes. 36 to 37 weeks because afterwards suppose the patient goes in labor there's fetal distress also we avoid prematurity okay and what are the complications the placenta can get detached cord can get entangled around the neck fetal distress baby can also die iufd okay meta kartike option c is a googly there's nothing like external podalic version in the whole of obgy okay that's why there's nothing to say okay kartika there's nothing like an external podalic version it means you're making it ulta. If I interchange the image, if I put this first and this, that does nothing like external podalic version. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. Cord entanglement can occur with it. Okay. Yes. Now, what is this image? This is also very, very important image based MCQ. This we can all of you know, this is the umbilical cord. Umbilical cord. Yeah, let's say, okay. Umbilical cord. And we are putting one hand towards the mother abdomen other hand is doing control cord traction control cord traction to deliver the placenta very good this is the brand andrews maneuver brand andrews mac roberts is a maneuver done for shoulder dystocia yes so mac roberts maneuver is done for shoulder dystocia where you do hip hyperflexion and abduction of the thighs onto the maternal abdomen brand andrews is this okay so remember there's another name for brand andrews is control cord traction lily's method nahi hota hai. lily's chart anybody where do i get lily's chart for what is the lily's chart if i tell you lily's chart is there in which condition yeah shibani that's why before you telling me i know yes so what is the lily's there's no lily's method there's a lily's chart where do you use Lily's chart? So Lily's chart is used for 
आर एच आईसो इम्यूनाइजेशन इन आर एच नेगेटिव प्रेगनेंसी वेन वी हैव टू डू एमनियोसेंटेसिस एंड वी गेट अ वैल्यू कॉल्ड एज डेल्टा फोर फिफ्टी ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर स्टूडेंट एज अ लिलीज चार्ट इज यूज फॉर दैट एंड क्रीज मेथड इज अगेन आउटडेटेड कचरा डस्टबिन इन क्रीज मेथड वॉट वॉज डन वॉज दैट वी आर पुलिंग द अम्बेलिकल कॉर्ड साइमल्टेनियसली वी आर स्क्वीजिंग द यूट्रस फ्रॉम अबाव क्लियर ग्रेट सिक्स एंड शिवानी वी सो दैट यूज टू लीड टू इन्वर्जन ओके येस सो दैट इज इन यूट्राइन इन्वर्जन ओके यस श्रेया कुमार वेरी गुड सो लिलीज मेथड नहीं है आई रिपीट लिलीज चार्ट इज देयर टू यूज अलॉन्ग विथ एमनियो सेंटेस इन आर एच आई सोनाइजेशन एंड क्रीड्स मेथड इज कॉजिंग लॉट्स ऑफ यूट्राइन इट इज मेथड ऑफ प्लासेंटल डिलीवरी ओनली इट्स आउटडेटेड मेथड ऑफ प्लासेंटल डिलीवरी विच वी नो लॉन्गर अप्लाई ओके so just the last couple of things because i also wanted you to show some many of them are asking for the uh, copper t images so just a thing which i would like to show you uh, because we have shown you the lng iud we showed you okay lng iud we showed you and we will also Yes, this is the normal HSG. I also wanted to show you this. Chalo, identify this. I shouldn't be telling me the answer. Tell me what is this image? Anybody? So because in in the beginning there was four five minutes uh, technical glitch. We are continuing the class for five minutes more extra. Okay, because I would like to complete proper one hour. One hour is done technically, but I feel I should teach something more because we had a yes yes we are showing you that. Yes, excellent. All of you. So here I can clearly see. Here I can clearly see the uterus. This is the uterus, which is triangle. I can see both the fallopian tubes very nicely. These are the fallopian tubes, and all this is the spill of the dye. The spill is telling me. that the tubes are patent so this is a normal hsg okay how will a bilateral cornual block look like only this both the tubes are blocked at the corno both the tubes are blocked at the corno and only uh, this with a cardiac activity need pg around 6 weeks okay 5 and half to 6 weeks yes so this is the bilateral cornual block. moving on so we showed you this we showed you this we showed you this just like a quick revision we showed you this what is not shown we showed you this showed you this yes yes all of you you know this this is the burns marshall maneuver okay yes now what is this what is this Yes, twenty-first day by transvaginal sonography. Twenty-first day after missing the period. Okay, but a six weeks. So after roughly around thirty and fourteen, around forty-fifth day, ke aspas. Okay. Yes. So this is absolutely correct. This is copper T three eighty. Now you can see the copper. Somebody wanted to know the copper wire distribution. Okay. So this is copper T three eighty. LNG, all of you have seen. Okay. Copper T three eighty. and why i am saying it's copper t380 because it's the only copper t with the copper in the horizontal arms also apart from the vertical arms rest all the copper t the copper is only on the vertical limb okay this is 33 this is 33 and this is 314 i don't expect you to remember millimeter square okay there is a surface area of the copper in millimeter square so remember 380 total it should happen it should be total 380 so 33 plus 33 is 66 and 314 comes to 380 yes or no it comes to 380 okay so 380 uh, millimeter Uh, square. This is copper. Now identify this. Yes. 
okay so this is what yeah and this is the mcq which was asked even longest acting very good 10 years this is the longest acting iocd 10 years lng iod was for five years okay lng i would be described to lng was for five years okay i didn't tell you that okay five years myrina technically yes so this is 10 years and very good students don't fall in the trap multi-load both multi-load 250 and 375 both would look the same okay multi-load why because of the sun ray there are serrated fins when you see this when you see this that is the multi-load and therefore it is not copper t380 it is a multi-load iud 250 is for how many years mcq 375 is for five years okay i repeat multi-load so wherever we see a serrated fins okay so kaise yaad rakhna hai again revision completely white completely white lng iud lng iud one which is completely white is lng iud one which has got a serrated fins is multi-load and one which is having copper t in the horizontal arm also is copper t 380 clap if you feel happy okay so all the iud's discussed also for all of you this also i have shown you the tubal ring and this is the diaphragm and the last image what is this the answer is in front of you yes but still if you see this is the liver this is the liver and these are the adhesions so what is it this is a laparoscopic diagnosis which you make perihepatic adhesion it is fits you Curtis syndrome okay violent string adhesion it's a sequelae of a PID so when you see the liver okay when you see the liver brown color liver and along with it you will see all this adhesions they are the fits you Curtis syndrome it's a sequelae of yes pelvic inflammatory disease PID okay so PID ka complications hai ye and this we discussed and this okay yes and it was good okay so i hope all of you had a great time today i wish always violent string appearance yes all these are expected questions for the upcoming examination and sorry for the technical glitch there are certain things are really not in our control but this and i want all of you to take the maximum benefit of all the upcoming batches the code remains the same m e n t o r best is to go in for the vital subscription which are superb lectures and only one month subscription at three triple nine please take the maximum benefit and use the promo code mentor all the previous years questions image based mcq doctors and i will also take the btr session and as well as this is the batch which is starting very very soon eight months lots everything image and everything would be there and again mentor remains the code so just download the unacademy app and wishing you all the best for the upcoming examination spread this video with all your friends let them also have a look and probably yes we are going to meet one more time soon before the neat pg exam because in this month one more special class i'm going to take as well as one more uh youtube session also i'll be taking okay so yes marathon course and pyq should be definitely enough saint a sinner that's the only thing what you've got right now okay so abhi time hai. so that's it and if then need pg vitals uh, you can go ahead and and listen to this yes so right now there's the only time limit left so marathon and the pyq course is what you study right now okay bye, -bye. best of luck thank you very much thank you for all your time and i'll see you soon uh, very very soon in this okay